I've got some bad news. One of the bottle baby goats has been hurt. So I'm here with McGuire, my nephew. Hello. <laughs> and everybody in the family could not be more proud of this guy. He is getting ready to study abroad in France for a year. Yes, in Lyon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, what an adventure. That sounds, sounds uh, you know, just amazing. McGuire's out here checking out our place before he has to leave. And he's offered to help me with a project I've been meaning to work on. I've got this broken basketball hoop that I've been meaning to cut down for quite some time. I just needed a second person to help me do it. I can cut it off at the base. I just don't want it to fall on anything while I'm doing that. So McGuire's going to help me hold it up while we do that. Sweet, let's do it. Thanks. Tell me if you want some safety glasses or anything else. Okay. Yeah, I'll be click here. Yeah. I'm going to the other side now. It's definitely getting flexible. Yeah, it's getting a little, a little more loose. Got a spot where I've been keeping all the this garbage that we have to take to the dump. <laughs> Let's just walk it on over. If you want to grab the light end, I'll grab the side. Okay. Somehow, little DJ got stuck on a bungee cord that we had been using to keep the buck shelter doors open. It happened while I was at work, but Wendy was here. She's pretty upset about it because it seems like he was stuck on that bungee cord for quite a while. He did cry out, but it wasn't an emergency sounding cry, so she didn't come out right away to see what was wrong. He got one of the hook ends stuck in his mouth. You can kind of see how it's chewed away a little bit here. The other end was still attached to the fence, so he would just pull until it hurt 
and he just couldn't get away from the fence. Now his mouth is all swollen and his voice is a little hoarse. Poor little guy. Wendy did try to put ice on it, but the goat didn't like that at all. And after just a little while, it seemed like the squirming was gonna injure him more. So we're hoping that this swelling just kinda goes down by itself. He's still just as happy and eager to see us as ever. It's just kinda hard to see him like this. This is our temporary location for all of the debris that we're gonna be taking to the dump. Actually, we call it Metro Recycling out here. And we're just letting this accumulate so we can take one big load down there. Little Dijon here is still just as hungry as any of the other goats, just as eager for the bottle. Here you go. Yeah, I know. Here. Here, it's over here. You big dummy. Oh. Odd goat out. How you doing? Are you getting any better, Dijon? Hopefully you feel better soon. <laughs> okay, spread out a little. Spread out a little. You guys are just about done. There's a little bit left there.
Okay, that's about it. There's something about indigo and mom. Every, every <laughs> time, every time she tries to knock mom down. I think it's because your mom's afraid of her. Maybe. Mom was giving McGuire a ride when they stopped by. I didn't shoot any video of mom and indigo, but if you want to see how indigo treats her, here's a link to another video. McGuire thought we should rename our channel Life with Indigo. You finding some good stuff in there, Bonnie? So they really are growing fast. It's the, it's the Nubian half. Blue and ginger are just as big as Stormtrooper and Sienna now. It's crazy. No, they're not. Well, just about. They're pretty close. Stormtrooper, are you in my wheelbarrow? Are you in my wheelbarrow? So let's see what happens. That was pretty predictable. I thought the wheelbarrow ride would be a fun goat trick, but we haven't gotten a lot of cooperation from the goats. afraid of. It's just a wheelbarrow. First goat ride in the wheelbarrow.
camera swiveled around the wrong way.